Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Lee Gilmore, and I'm the general manager of the live journalism business at WSJ Barron's Group. The topic of food carries a different sense of urgency at this year's Global Food Forum. The war in Ukraine and climate change are adversely impacting food production, yields, distribution, and contributing to a far-reaching food crisis. I'm joined today by Haley Lowry, Global Director of Sustainability at Dow, and we're going to talk a little about what we can do to safeguard the food that we have in a time of scarcity. Haley, welcome. Thank you so much. So let's jump right in. We have very little control over the food supply issues arising out of the conflict in Ukraine. With that in mind, what are you doing? What approach are you taking to safeguard the food that we do have, minimizing unnecessary waste at a time of scarcity? Thank you so much, Lee. Um, Welcome, everyone. It's great to see everyone in person. So this is something that I think about actually at a macro level, and it really drives a lot of what we do at Dow um, as a material science company and 125 years old uh, this this May. When I think about waste, let's let's, um, ground ourselves in the context a little bit about waste, because we can have food waste, and then we can also have packaging waste. So food waste is actually making sure that all of the energy that we took into making the food, that it doesn't spoil. And packaging waste, all of that packaging that it actually took to make the food and keep it fresh, doesn't go to waste either. So first on food waste, um, food waste plays a massive role in climate change. Actually, ReFed, which is an organization that we work with, an NGO focused on food waste, they put out a report saying that anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of climate emissions globally are caused by food waste. To put that into context, that is equivalent to or more than the aviation industry. So that's incredible. Um, also, uh, really balancing out food waste and packaging waste is something that's really important in how we make right decisions. So had a little chat with a chef and um, looked at some of the food that we were eating tonight. So I took cheese and arugula, what we had in the first course. So if we take cheese, the CO2 equivalent for one kg of cheese is actually 178 times more than the packaging, the CO2 for that amount of packaging. On the flip side, in reverse, the arugula, actually for one kg of arugula, the impact of the product to package package ratio is actually only 0.36. So what that shows is that there's a lot of science and data behind what we choose to do to solve some of these problems. And for cheese, packaging totally makes sense. For arugula, it's probably something else in the system from a sustainability aspect that might make more sense. So shelf life extensions has been something really critical to to things that we've worked on um, as Dow. And we really think about it as in terms of a ticking time clock. The clock starts the moment that the food is produced and harvested and all the way until it actually spoils or it's utilized. And so we really work with our customers to design better packages to extend the shelf life. Um, Take vacuum skin packaging is something to make uh, meat packaging extend to to two weeks, or um, a polyethylene pouch of something to make produce extend a few days. So there's a lot of different solutions out there, and I think the key is that if we can find ways to use science and technology to slow down that clock and ultimately allow food to stay fresh longer, then we can increase security of supply, we can expand distribution, and we can feed more people, which is ultimately what we want to do. Well, you talk there a little bit about plastics, and there's very few sites that generate a more visceral reaction than the mountains or oceans of plastic waste. Yet Dow believes strongly that plastics is a critical component to a circular economy and to society as a whole. Can you take a few moments just tell us how so? Yeah, sure. So plastic waste is a major global issue, and it's one in which Dow is committed and investing in to solve. No packaging should end up as waste, regardless if that's plastic or any other material. And really, the the problems that we're facing on circularity come into play where there's usually a supply for something and a demand for something. 
And when there's a demand for something, the supply comes and there's ultimately value for that. We're starting to see many around this room who've announced objectives where they want to increase the recycled content in their materials, which is a really great thing. I mean, we could talk about this for a long time. There's so much more to discuss, but I'm afraid, Haley, that's all we have time for. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. And uh, I'd love everybody else to really enjoy the rest of this evening's program. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.